Hey guys, we're always in VTXReviews.com, another unboxing slash quick review, first look at a docking station designed for the iPod and the um, iPhone series, which includes iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4G, and iPhone 4S. So all those models will work because it uses a 30-pin dock connection instead of the lightning port, which a newer iPhone 5 series uses. So this is the older version of the dock. Um, this is a third-party dock, not produced by Apple, of course, um, but it's pretty interesting because it's got a very low price point, which is why we're actually sharing it with you. It only costs $2 online at ebay.com, and you can pick it up in stores for, again, around $1.50, which is very inexpensive. Um, but the saying, you get what you pay for, definitely should apply in this case. It's, I don't expect this to be as good as anything from Apple. Um, but again, you are having a lot lower of a price tag. So if you are hoping to get a dock to stand up and prop up your, your um, device while you're watching videos or doing or charging it or syncing it, this could be a good option to go, especially if you want to dispose of it quickly just to use it for one time in travel. It's still going to be worth it. So it says, easy to access with USB port, make speakerphone calls with your iPhone when in stock, sync your iPad sync your iPad. So this is, this can work with your iPad as well, I guess. So it's um, not just for your iPhone, it's also for your iPad, syncing or discharging your iPhone and iPod. So basically it's saying it works with most of Apple's devices. Um, there's two versions, black and white. This is the white version as shown in the pictures. And that's pretty much it, it's not too much information. Again, very low, low price tag. And um, indeed it's made entirely out of plastic and pl pretty flimsy plastic, so again, it does shout kind of cheap once you start looking closer at it. Um, and there you go, that's pretty much it. It's again made, made entirely out of this very cheap plastic. Um, it feels very hollow inside, so if you drop this banging around, it's probably gonna break. But then again, you do have that dock connection on one end. On the other end, you have your uh, USB 2.0 cable to charge a device or sync your device to your computer or Mac. And um, not sure why there's this transparent lid on the back. It looks like I can open this. I'll see if I'm right, and indeed I can open this. Um, don't know why I can though. Maybe you can prop this up. That doesn't seem doesn't seem right. Uh, I'm a little bit confused actually why you can open this up. Maybe you can store a cord inside, but it doesn't specify because there's no instructions. But there is this kind of strange little door latch that you can remove and maybe store something in. Kind of confusing on that aspect. Not sure what this is, but anyways, put it back there. And the cord itself, uh, it's not very long, but it should work fine if you put it on a desktop or if you're using it for portability and for traveling, it should work pretty nicely. Generic cord, you know, not too high end or anything like that. The biggest uh, point of concern that I've come across with these with these uh, little docks is the fact that they don't have those um, removable and accessible uh, little you know, interchangeable bottom plates for your specific iPod or iPhone device. So when you're plugging this device in there, it's basically sitting up because the phone has a metal construction edge on the side. There isn't anything to hold it into place on the bottom. So if someone accidentally comes over and pushes on your iPhone when it's in the dock, your bottom of your phone is basically gonna, gonna break because there's nothing holding this into place. It's just like holding up by itself. Um, so there's a lot of stress and force on the bottom of your phone. It's very easy to break your phone's charging system and port system this way, especially if you plan on using this a lot over time. So if someone again presses over here too hardly, uh, the phone's gonna you know hit the surface on the back and it's probably gonna snap the bottom of the connection port and the charging port. So it's not a very good design in that aspect. And again, because this thing is so hollow, if someone pushes on it, the whole dock is probably gonna fall over. Um, with that in mind, you do have some uh, soft touch pads on the bottom so it won't scratch on any surface. And it's gonna give it a little bit of more of adhesive edge when it's placing on a desk. It's not gonna just slide all over the place. So again, if you have to have something uh, to charge your iPhone in while standing it up and propping it up, and you don't mind something being uh, pretty cheap and having the flaw where it, it probably isn't gonna do well for your phone over time, um, this is a working dock. It does work um, as advertised, but just be warned that you get what you pay for as far as quality and innovative design is concerned. So thanks for watching here at osmvtxreads.com and an unboxing and quick video review of this iPod and iPad and iPod dock third-party accessory.